supposed to be? Stop slouching! Lift your hey then, my dear friend. You've reached the knockout stage. Well, you sure seem happy. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't. For what? For what? Our next victory. Our? I always bet on you. Do not let me down. Even if it's going to be harder than usual this time. Why harder? Just don't let me down. Let me in the carnage hall. Patrons of Carnage Hall, the final fights are ahead. Are you ready to roll? Yes! Let's go! I can't hear you! Let's put on a show! Allow me to tell you a story.
Uh, Ogar? Guards were gonna throw you into the dungeon. Lucky for you, I was one of them. How'd you get into Carnage Hall? Remember the guard you took out outside? I put on his uniform. I kept thinking to myself, if I find Chiro, I'll somehow turn him around. There's gotta be hope for the kid. Man, was I wrong. What happened to Chiro? Won't drop out of the final. Heard what he said, right? He's now Kane, not Chiro. Still your son, though. And I still love him. But I can't save him from himself. What now? Astrid already knows you made it out. You'll be safe in the city. But I wouldn't go back to Carnage Hall if I were you. If you were me. But you're not. Choice is mine to make. Don't say I didn't warn you. having you around here. Now, Skullface, ah, uh, well, you know what that means for you. Is it just me, or are you worried about me for real? Remember when we first laid eyes on each other? Sure do. You said I looked like someone important. Hearing those words was intensely pleasurable for me. Ugh. Hope it wasn't, uh, too intense. Sufficiently intense. Just let me into the arena. Farewell, Aiden. Remain? <laughs> 
a surprise. You messed up every step on the way, but we're still alive. I prepared something from the formula you found. Apply it when Skullface releases the infected. Time it precisely. It doesn't last long. Hey, what do you mean it doesn't last long? Means you'll sweat it off quickly. You don't have as much experience with this as Skullface. But it'll have to do. You're playing games. Always. But we're on the same team. It's like I told you. This place is my baby. I lost everything once already. For others, the fall was the end of the world. For me, I got my shit together and went back to the one thing I'm good at. Entertaining. Carnage Hall isn't just a building. It was my salvation, and I won't let anyone take this from me. Give me that camo crap. Excellent. Good luck. Abel. You asked who Abel was. It's Skullface. Wait, what? Skullface is the mask. Abel took it from the last champion to wear it. When he defeated him. Let's see if you can do the same. But Ogar said his son was dead. Because that's what I told him. Ogar used to be the best. He was invincible. But when someone keeps on winning, the show gets boring. So, you told him to throw the fight? He just had to hand over the title. I already had his replacement. Instead, that fool tricked me. Ogre was supposed to lose, but he didn't. So, I got Abel. Abel had everything. He was the fastest, the strongest. All he lacked was motivation. So I told him a story about how his father abandoned him, left him wounded, dying and chose his brother. You lied. And who needs the truth if the lie makes you stronger? Every enemy Skullface kills has Ogar's face now. And what's in it for you, except creating that psycho? Matt's threatening to shut me down. So I made a deal with him. If I hand him Skullface's head on a platter, he backs off. That's what's in it for me. The show must go on. Time for the final battle, warrior. Good luck. Guards. Here comes the Able. Avenger! 
idea you were still alive. You're mine now. <laughs> Father ran off. That's bullshit. 
thought my boy was dead. Forgive me. Poor thing. At least you remember how you were dying. How alone you were when he left here. Astrid lied to you. She told me herself. She made a bet with Ogar. He had no choice. There's always a choice. As soon we'll see. Abel, you dreamt of revenge for so long. Saw his face on every one of your enemies. He left you. He picked Chira. Now he's here. Here in front of me. Kill him. I am so sorry. Able to! you, buddy. <coughs> oh. Oh. What the... Uh, Aiden, what happened? This time... <coughs> this time, Carnage Hall lost. You hear me, Jiro? The arena lost. <laughs> Pilgrim, this is the last you'll hear from me. And it means I'm dead. You did it. You stopped him. Stop me. I reckon I owe you an explanation. Don't want you thinking I took advantage of you. I want to believe there was ultimately a shred of good left in me. A shred of the boy who once dreamt of becoming a champ and doing everything to achieve that dream. Care for what you wish for, they say. Because wishes tend to come true. I learned that fact the hard way. I was so hell-bent on reaching the top that I kept taking stronger and stronger stimulants to achieve my goal. Fighting became an obsession of mine. I stopped being myself when I stepped out into the arena. I turned into Skullface, the brutal and fearless slayer adored by the crowds. Over time, it became harder and harder to find my old self again. My body was eventually consumed by the ruthless skull face. His lust for blood kept growing. Contaminating fighters with anabolics wasn't enough. The ordinary residents of Villador would have had to be contaminated too. Women and children. My conscience was terrified, but it wasn't strong enough to take back control of my body. Yet I couldn't allow this to go ahead. 
Fortunately for me, a pilgrim soon appeared in the city. Well, you know the rest of the story. Thank you again for what you did. I want to believe you did save me in the end. And save those who would have fallen victim to my ambitions. Tell my father it wasn't his fault. And then I'm grateful for everything he did. As for Chiro, tell him his big brother is awfully proud of him. That was always important for him. Farewell, Pilgrim. <laughs>